Omega touchscreen interface software. Top left hand corner, we have the tools on and off page. Here we can simply select which tools we'd like to use for any given program. Simply touch the screen and they highlighted by a yellow box. Touch again and the box disappears. These settings will be saved in any programs that are made. In here we can select the settings for our given profiles. For straight edge we can set our floating time and angle and switch on and off. You can also select our floating speed. Pencil round. Here we can select the angle at which the head moves. You can also select our floating with our angle and floating time. We can also adjust the speed at which we both float and oscillate. In the bull nosing program, we can select the angle to which our head moves above and below the bull nose. Also our oscillation speed. Please note the Commodore Omega will always center itself in the middle of the piece. So your bull nose, no matter what thickness, 20, 30, 40, will always be a perfect round. Quarter bull nose. Again, we can select our angles. We can select our floating on or off and the time and degrees to which we float also the floating and oscillation speeds. Half bull nose, here we can select our degrees for start and finish and also our oscillation speed. For shark's nose, we can select our start angle, our radius and our finish angle. We can also float on the finish angle and change our floating and oscillation speeds. For the large lower chamfer, we can select angle, our floating on and off and degrees for both our square and angled edge. We can also adjust our floating and oscillation speeds. Large lower chamfer, we can also select our floating both a 90 degree and our chamfer angle, our angle of floating and our floating and oscillation speeds. Partial workings. Here, if we are wanting to partially work a profile, we would select our partial working edges and we will have four possible options to choose from. Number one being polish first, number two being stop first or sight joint, number three being sight joint length and polish length, and number four being polish length and sight length. The size of A is always the polished side and the size for B is always the unpolished size. Second and third pages are for our chamfers. If we have side joints for when we are polishing the edge of the worktop flat but need to start and stop the chamfers. Select the appropriate setting and in A or B, select the length that you wish to polish or not polish. If partial workings is selected, then when you return to the main menu, you will see that the partial workings flashes. To turn off partial workings, simply select the bottom right hand full polish position. When you return to the main menu, the partial workings will now have stopped flashing. Special pieces is for if you are working a built up job, you can select the value for A and for B for your rails and this will ensure that the pistons only come down in the centre of the piece and not on the edge. If this is selected, when you exit, the special pieces icon will flash to let you know that you have this selected. Turn off special pieces, simply go back into the program and set the value A and value B to zero. And the special pieces icon has stopped flashing. Centering is used if you lose the position of your G3 wheel. This is very rare. Please delete. This is very useful when you've forgotten to put a stop polish onto a piece or when you've put a piece in and you've forgotten to turn the top polish off. Once selected you'll see the green bar down where it says belt beginning. This will come up with the pieces 
that you have on the belt. You can simply delete every piece by pressing E or you can select a particular part and press F and that will just delete that single part and then you can carry on with your workings with the rest of the pieces. Programs. In here you can save multiple programs for your different profiles and your different thicknesses. This will include in the program the belt speed, the tools that are being worked, any profile settings that you've selected for that part. Simply touch the program that you wish to use, you'll see it highlights in yellow. The machine will then ask you if you want to use the selected program. Click yes and the program will be read into the machine. manual mode. In manual mode you are able to select every working part of the machine to test to make sure that it's working. Here we touch the pump, we get a red hand, we press the E button, the red hand then flashes and the motor starts. To stop we press F. Here one of the pre-cutting wheels is selected this is the same for all motors and pistons where you have an on and off selection. Here we can rotate the heads G3 through to L4 and L5 through to L8. These are our chamfer heads. On this particular machine we have the TMM4 calibrated beveling system. Here we can test that everything is working and the green and white squares show that our proximity switches are also working. Here we can test the belt to check that that's working along with our encoder. As you can see BQ1 we have the green and white boxes flashing. On this page we can check that our pistons are working correctly and also our SQ1 and SQ2 sensors for the timings on our pistons and heads are also working correctly. We have total working hours, we also have partial worked hours and partial worked meters. The partial worked meters and hours can be reset so that you can keep an idea of how many meters you're polishing in a week or a month and also how long tools are lasting. Our final page we have our time and date, also our, on this machine our dynamic belt speed and automatic thickness.